Hey guys, welcome to Smack Talk Wrestling. I am your host, Boise, and this is Extreme Rules 2019 predictions video. Not just my predictions, guys. I've actually got Mr. J's predictions. So you know what that means? That means my Smack Talk predictions championship is on the line. So now that's all, done, all said and done, let's hit the music and let's get on with the predictions. So the first match we're going to look at is Alistair Black versus Cesaro, the man who knocked on the door. So this one was quite difficult because I am a huge fan of Cesaro, I'm a huge fan of Alistair Black. But who did I think was going to get the victory in this one? Well, it's quite difficult. I think both guys are uber talented. They both had amazing careers in Europe. And now that they're making their trades in WWE, this is a match I want to see. Uh, Mr. J felt exactly the same way. Uh, but we didn't, we kind of went our own ways on who would win. For me, I'm going for Alistair Black. I think Alistair Black is the most reasonable choice. I think this is going to be a great showing. We haven't seen Alistair Black perform since WrestleMania, since he got moved from Raw into SmackDown. It, you know, that really confusing superstar shakeup. But now, finally, we're going to see Alistair Black back in the ring. For Mr. J, he is going with Cesaro. Good choice, a hard opponent I definitely agree with. But I just don't agree that Cesaro is going to be the man to overcome Alistair Black on his return to main stage action. Next up, we're going to have a look at the Raw Tag Team Championship match. This is the Revival versus the Usos. I honestly couldn't divide who was going to win this one. So I had to flip a coin. I think Mr. J automatically went with the Usos. One of the, if not the best tag team in the world right now. Uh, so for me, I, I went for Revival. I know it, it feels like the Usos are possibly the better team right now, but I just can't see the t you know WWE taking the titles off for of Revivals just, just yet when they could build a real good feud with the Usos and Revival. So for me, it's going to be Revival. Mr. J, he's definitely going with the Usos. Next up, we are looking at our last man standing match. This is Braun Strowman versus Bobby Lashley. After what happened a couple of weeks ago when we saw Braun Strowman put Bobby Lashley and himself through the LCD uh, screens at the top of the ramp, this is actually going to this could easily be one of the better matches of the night. Uh, I'm actually kind of looking forward to Yes, we had that lame return. Of, yes, I, Bobby Lashley returning was kind of like a bit of a shock. They should have just kept it to extreme rules in my opinion. Uh, but I'm going to go for Braun Strowman. Mr. J as well also went with Braun Strowman. I think it is that they're, I don't know if they're trying to build Bobby Lashley as this big destructive monster now on Raw, but he you know, I don't know how that's going to work. It'll be interesting to see how damaged Braun Strowman really is after his injuries uh, from a couple of weeks ago. But they, if they really build up a good storyline and they make it, you know, make the selling work, I think this could be a fantastic match. So, yeah, miss, me and Mr. J are both going for Braun Strowman. Next up, we're looking at the Cruiserweight Championship match between Tony Nese and uh, Drew Gulak. This is an exciting match. If you haven't seen these guys perform already, they have absolutely amazing chemistry. It is a fan. 205 is absolutely brilliant. I keep saying this in every video when like the cruiserweight matches come available on the show, you know pay per views. I just go, have you seen 205? Have you seen it? It is worth seeing. Uh, but who is going to win this one? Well, Mr. J believes that Tony Nese is going to reclaim the title. Don't get me wrong, Tony. Tony Nese plays a great babyface who's chasing for the championship. That's why I preferred him being the chaser, not the champion. Uh, but for me, I think Gulak is, you know, he's only just recently won the title at, at the last pay-per-view. And I think it's, you know, he needs more time as a champion. He, I think he is the right guy to be a good heel you know, cruiserweight champion, and I think him and Tony Nese could continue a, another feud for, to the next pay per view. So I'm going Drew Gulak, and Jay is going in, going with Tony Nese. Next up, we're looking at the United States Championship match where we see Ricochet versus AJ Styles. Not just any AJ Styles, the club AJ Styles. So, you know, let's be honest, we know 
Gallows and Anderson are somehow going to get involved in this match. And we know AJ is now heel, so this means he's more dangerous. But who who could we see winning? Well, for me personally, I think we're going to have a we're going to have the heels do absolutely everything in their power to get the victory. But we're going to see a babyface just overcome AJ Styles, leading on to the next pay per view. So for me, Ricochet. Jay, on the other hand, reckons the, the Gallows and Anderson factor is going to be that factor which overcomes Ricochet, allowing AJ to claim the United States Championship again. So he is going with. AJ Styles. No matter who wins this match, I know one thing, the fans, the audience are the real winners in this match. Next up we're looking at the Smackdown Tag Team Championship match where we see a triple threat match. It's Heavy Machinery versus Daniel Bryan and Roland the Planet's Champions and The New Day with members of Xavier Woods and Big E. This for me is a hell of a match. I, again, I think this is one of the better matches we have on the cards. And I'm actually super excited to see. It doesn't matter, again, who wins this match. If you give it to the New Day and Kofi retains, then all members of New Day will hold gold. And that, that's something we don't often see on the main roster. On NXT, we have kind of seen it before, but not on the main roster. Uh, but who have we gone for? Well, for me personally, I'm going with the Planet's Champions. Daniel Bryan and Roland, I think they're still doing a fantastic job. They're trying to rebuild the SmackDown tag team divisions and helping guys like Heavy Machinery and having guys like The New Day involved in this type of match will definitely elevate the tag team division. Mr. J, on the other hand, has gone for the newcomers, Heavy Machinery, stating that he reckons these two have what it takes to become champions now. To be honest, if either of us are right, who cares? This is going to be a great, great match. Next up, we're looking at Bailey versus Alexa Bliss uh, and Nikki Cross because it's a two-on-one handicap match for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Well, this is the most interest, one of the most interesting matches again on the card. What who what's going to happen is the big question for me and Mr. J. We both agree Bailey's most likely going to come out as the champion still, but are we going to see Alexa Bliss turn on Nikki Cross? If she doesn't win, this is very, very interesting. As we know, if a Nikki Cross pins Bailey, Alexa becomes champion. If obviously, if, if Bailey pins either Nikki Cross or Alexa Bliss, she will still retain the championship. But it will be interesting. Is if Bailey pins Alexa, will she still blame Nikki for the loss? These are interesting questions. I can't wait to see how this goes. And it'll be interesting to see how this two-on-one handicap match really gets going. So for us, we're both going with Bailey. Next up, we have the WWE Championship match between Kofi Kingston and Samoa Joe. Don't get me wrong, we both love Samoa Joe. He's an absolute legend. And the guy's promos are fantastic. But both me and Mr. J agreed that Kofi Kingston, Kofi Mania is still running wild in the WWE. And we both think that yes, Samoa Joe is a great opponent to have, but should this be a one-time ch uh, challenge? Well, for us both, we both agreed yes. Let, don't get us wrong, Joe is a fantastic heel, but we don't want to see him spending too much time away from Raw, where, let's be honest, that's where he is. Whereas Kofi Kingston is a SmackDown, Superstar, and we should have SmackDown superstars challenging for the WWE Championship. So we're both going for Kofi Kingston. Next up, we're looking at the mix tag team match winners take all extreme rules match. Wow, that's a mouthful. Uh, with Becky Lynch and her boyfriend Seth Rollins teaming up to take on Baron Corbin and Lacey Evans. Like I stated, the winners of this match will take all the gold. This is, again, a very interesting match. If they, if they can get the concept right and they can make it as hard here, we know Becky Lynch can take a punch, as we saw this week on Raw. And let's be honest, this could be one of the most physical matches we will see on the whole pay-per-view. But who has me and Mr. J gone for? Well, for me, I'm sticking with the man and the man's man, Seth Rollins. But obviously, Mr. J, he likes a good heel team up and he's gone with Lacey Evans and Baron Corbin. This again, this could be one of the most physical matches on the card 
But I'm not joking, guys. This is going to be an exciting match to watch. And last but not least, it's the tag team match. It's the big dog Roman Reigns teaming up with the dead man himself, The Undertaker, taking on Shane O'Mac, the best in the world, and the Scottish psychopath, Drew McIntyre, in a no holds bar match. Oh, this could be exciting. Um, after seeing the Undertaker absolutely nearly getting killed by Goldberg, I think this match will be a lot easier for the dead man. Seeing as he's teaming up with probably one of WWE's biggest superstars, Roman Reigns, and you have Drew McIntyre who is an absolute professional and one of the most talented wrestlers on the company's books. Obviously you also have Shane O'Mac, who cares? But who do we see winning? Well, for me, I am going for the dead man and the big dog, Roman Reigns and The Undertaker to take the victory. Mr. J on the other hand, well, like he said, he wants to see Shane O'Mac beat The Undertaker. So he's going with Shane O'Mac and Drew McIntyre for the victory. For me, I think Kevin Owens will be involved in this match in some way to help the big dog and The Undertaker get a victory over Drew and Shane. And there you go guys, those are our predictions for Extreme Rules 2019. What are your predictions for this pay-per-view? Do you think this is going to be good, bad, or do you just not care? Leave it in the comments below. If you do like our content here, why not like, subscribe, and press that bell to keep notified so you can keep up to date with all this awesome content at Smack Talk Wrestling. And if you want to follow us on the old Twitter, it's at Smack Talk YouTube. If you want to follow me on the old Twitter, it's at Boise88. And if you want to follow Mr. J on old Instagram, it's LJ. And I'll see you guys next time on Smack Talk Wrestling Predictions.